Hi, my name's Paul Kennedy. I'm the CEO of Biari Networks. This is a presentation I gave at the FTTH conference in Anaheim back in July 2015. So in this presentation, I want to challenge your assumptions. So before I begin, begin let me just introduce uh, Biari Networks. So we're a team of software uh, developers and mathematicians. We're based down in Australia. So when we went up to the Anaheim conference, obviously it was a long trip for us to make. Uh, we do business all around the world and we specialize in generating optimized network design for the telecommunications industry. So a key thing that we learnt is it's time for the industry to change. We've seen many innovations, so that's new components, be say small footprint multi-ports, we've seen new construction techniques, and we've seen new products and services over the top of those. It's time now that we innovate the management of fibre projects, and I want to show you how design optimization will let you innovate your business processes. Incorporated with that is every time you get design optimization, you also get automation, and those two together let you unlock a completely new way of running and executing your fiber network projects. So you might ask yourself, what does maths have to do with that? What does a mathematics company, uh, what's it doing in the design optimization space? And the key there is to understand this distinction between automation and optimization. So automation, we let a machine do it. And there's a lot of systems around that can let you do that. Optimization, it will find you the best answer. So the lowest cost design in the least amount of time. So a byproduct of optimization is you get automation, and this is very val valuable, and this unlocks the business process for you. Why do we need a change? So we've seen uh, over the last few years uh, an acceleration in the number of fiber networks that are being rolled out, and these networks are pushing into lower margin areas, so they're much more sensitive to uh, cost effectiveness. You can't do that the old way. You can't generate designs manually, uh, piece by piece, because it doesn't scale and it doesn't capture construction costs. So it was said at the conference, it's a race to the pole. And in one sense, it is. It's this long, arduous journey where we set out at the front start, plan how we're going to get to uh, the finish line, which is our fiber network and we need to assemble the team and then we set off on this long arduous journey. But I like this, it's also a race to every individual pole. In a sense this captures the real challenge of the project. It's not marshalling the team, it's the fact that to build a fibre network today, whether it's an aerial one or an underground one, there's finite infrastructure that you can place this network on and it's a thousand, uh, tens of thousands of these small problems all across the fibre project. Every single pole needs to be designed to, then assessed, then built on. So while there is the macro project of let's go build a fibre network, it's actually in the detail where the challenge is. Let me show you how with our software we can make that part of the process much, much easier. So to do this, let's look at the business process as it currently stands. First off, we do a business case. So we sit down, look at the city or the suburb, and we say, what is the economics of building a fibre network to here? Do some analysis, and at the end of a couple of months, there'll be a decision, accept or reject the business case. Let's assume we accept it. We'll then generate a plan. So that's where we actually get out the detailed uh, maps and we might start sketching out where the cables will run. That'll take several weeks. At the end of that, we will again make a decision of do we uh, proceed with that area or do we skip over it? Let's assume we proceeded. So now it's time to do the detailed design. And so we check every single premise in the area that we intend to serve and then we draft up every single component of the network we anticipate building. Every single fiber cable, every single joint, we have to capture details around how it is installed and what third party infrastructure it's connected to. So at the end of that, we'll come out with a detailed design and a set of costs. Again, we may choose to accept or reject it. Let's assume that we did accept it. 
So then we move on, we need to build that network and then we need to operate it. So if you look at that, there was a long journey where each of the steps in a sense exists as a gate to make sure that you haven't proceeded down uh, the path of an uneconomical build. Let me present an alternative to you. So let's take that same workflow. First up, what if we could reduce the business case from months down to weeks? And what if we could reduce the design time from weeks down to days? That essentially means we don't need that middle planning set step. We don't need that gate because we can generate the same amount of information or even more information and detail in much, much less time. So if we can do that, what does that do to our overall process? Well, first up, the planning executive has a much shorter feedback time. So information coming back from the field, such as a construction methodology is proving to be more expensive than anticipated, you can feed that into new designs and avoid that construction technique. So you get that very rapid feedback loop. The planning executive gets a win. We know that because we've used an optimization engine to generate these footprints and designs, we know the total build cost has been minimized. So that means the construction executive has been given a project that has already been cost optimized. Their focus then is on execution. They don't need to sit there trying to squeeze out additional savings. The designs are consistent, so we've used software to generate them. It encodes the design rules and the data dictionary of the system that you want to uh, work into. So that means your CIO will have a set of designs that are very easy to feed into all downstream systems. So that's the construction management system, the operations system. So the CIO's job has just become much, much easier. And lastly, we've compressed the time frame. So from day one when the business case starts through to when you reach the uh, start of construction has just reduced by almost an order of magnitude. If you get to construction sooner, you finish construction sooner, so then you can start operating and taking revenue sooner. So from your CFO's point of view, you have saved money on the process and you've reached uh, revenue generation sooner so the overall profitability of the project is much higher. So this does sound like it's too good to be true and so let me explain to you how Biari does it and it's fundamentally comes down to two things. We have a ma painted a mathematical engine that generates these designs and then we have extensive uh, industry knowledge uh, through experience on uh, the various uh, projects we've worked on to date. So what do we generate? We generate construction ready designs. So that means every cable that is required is present, it's named, it's typed, it's associated with the splice enclosures. So from that you can pass it to a construction team and they will understand what needs to be built. The second bit is the engine that generates these designs is very, very fast. You can see here the speed of our engines over the uh, past five years and our, our generation one engines, they could process around about a hundred premises um, per minute. Our current engine can do 1,000 premises a minute. Imagine f uh, that we're talking pushing through 40,000, uh, 50,000 premises well within an hour. This allows us to repeat, iterate, but ultimately generate designs very, very fast. So some case studies, we've got uh, several projects where the design time from concept through to data that is uh, passed over to construction, 80% reduction. We have also benchmarked the cost of a design generated through our system compared to one generated by an expert uh, planner. We can save of order 10% of the uh, physical construction cost. These savings are proven and we'd love to share some of the case studies with you. So I hope I've uh, presented you with quite a challenging alternative to how you could set up the business process for your business case plan and design aspect of your fibre project. If you would like more information, we'd love you to contact us. Here's my contact details and thanks for your time.